In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use the Eraser tool in PaintShop Pro. The Eraser tool can help you remove unwanted areas of a layer by making them transparent. It's also a great tool for working with multiple layers in your PaintShop Pro projects. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. To use the Eraser tool, click on the Eraser tool icon from the Tools toolbar. You can see there are many different eraser brush options in the Tool Options palette. You can choose a brush style or shape. I prefer to use the round brush for this project. Then you can adjust the brush size by dragging on this slider here. Alternatively, press Alt and drag to resize the brush. To begin erasing, click and drag on your mouse using the eraser tool. Note that if you erase the background layer, the eraser tool erases to transparency and the layer is automatically promoted to a raster layer. As we use the eraser tool, a gray and white checkboard pattern will appear, indicating the new transparent areas. You should use short careful strokes instead of one long continuous stroke, as this is easier to control and undo if you make a mistake. You can also adjust the hardness level which determines the sharpness of the brush edges, the density which determines the evenness of the erasure, the thickness, and opacity. For the opacity level, you'll want to set it at 100% if you want the most transparent result. We can also enable Smart Edge as we are erasing. You'll see that I'm trying to erase portions of the image behind this dog. Once I enable Smart Edge, Content Aware technology helps detect the edges of the subject, and it's helping me erase along the edges of the dog correctly. Keep fine tuning the brush options as you erase to perfectly erase along the edges of your subject. You may want to use a different kind of eraser tip for artistic effects by selecting a different brush from the category section. You can use full hardness and opacity for edge effects and lower hardness and opacity for blending or texturing. If you accidentally erase too much, you can restore erased pixels by holding down the right mouse button and dragging over the erased area without having to undo anything. Once you have finished, make sure to save your file as PNG or .psp to preserve the transparency. Now let's say you want to erase a straight line. I have this image of a window, and I want to erase everything outside the window so I can replace it with a new background. I'm going to switch the eraser brush to the square shape so it has clean edges and set the hardness level to 100. Another quick tip is that it may be helpful to duplicate the layer and then erase on the duplicate layer to preserve the original. Go to Palettes, then Layers to open up the Layers palette. Then right click on the image and select Duplicate. Now use the visibility icon to hide the original layer. Now click at the beginning of the line, hold down Shift and click the end of the line. And you can see we've erased a nice clean straight line. To continue erasing the line, move to the next point, hold down Shift and click again. Now I want to show you how we can use the eraser tool when working with multiple layers. We've just completely erased the contents of the window on this photograph. And let's say I want to make a whimsical birthday card for a friend using an image of his dog. I'll open up a fun background image to replace the image area we erased. Then go to Edit Copy. Then go back to our window image and go to Edit, Paste as New Layer. Now rearrange the image layer so it is underneath the window layer and use the pick tool to resize and reposition the background. Finally, go back to the image of the dog from earlier and copy and paste it onto our birthday card. Once again, we'll rearrange the layer so it is in between the window and background layer. From here, we can use the pick tool to resize or reposition the dog. And now we can use the eraser tool to touch up any of the edges or erase any parts we missed. You can use the eraser tool on any of the layers. Just make sure to click on the layer you want to erase from before erasing. 
the eraser tool makes it easy to isolate image areas to use in fun projects like this one in PaintShop Pro. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.